A man swerves off the road and crashes, and his car bursts into flames. Neighbors heard it happen, rushed to help using rocks, tools, anything they could get their hands on to try to get that unconscious man out. And they're credited with saving his life. Fox 4's Zahid Arab spoke with those good Samaritans today. Zahid. Well, Steve, this picture from witnesses shows just how intense the flames were. The crash happened yesterday afternoon in Alvarado off FM 917, where neighbors say there's a dangerous curve. That's the reason why at least five different accidents, major accidents, have happened each year. They say if nothing's done to make the area safer, they fear the next one could result in death. In Alvarado. I call this dead man's curve. Along this stretch of FM 917 is the unpredictable. This is a scary thought. But late Tuesday evening, a big concern for neighbors. They get caught off onto this curve here. There is no coming back from it. Came true. And all of a sudden I hear this big boom. This was probably the most intense one I've seen yet. A car went off the road, crashed, then caught fire. I just came and running. A 70-year-old man was inside unconscious. The next thing you know, we're down here busting out the windows, trying to get this man out of the car. Soon, up to a dozen people showed up with water bottles, helping with whatever they could think of. I decided to go over there and get some dirt and put it in my shirt. With the fire inches from the gas tank, Good Samaritans got the driver out. Morgan Moore's daughter shot this video as the man was taken to the hospital in serious condition maybe minutes and it would have been a different story. Neighbors are credited with saving the man's life. My dad was a fireman and he always taught me to help other people. But they'd rather not have to. Let's not do it this way. Let's do it the right way. Cars continue to run into this nearby tree taking out the bark. Neighbors have complained to TxDOT about the bend asking for guardrails or warning signs but so far nothing. How many lives got to go before they finally say okay something needs to be done? Until then, they'll continue to worry about what's around the curve. A TxDOT spokesman tells me a speed study was conducted on FM 917, and just this week, it was decided to lower the speed limit from 60 miles per hour to 55 miles per hour. As for guardrails or new signage, decisions on those have not been made yet. Steve? All right, Zahid Arab, thank you.